Femke Bowl surged ahead, clocking an incredible 50.96 seconds, while Sydney McLaughlin wasn't far behind, finishing at 51.01 seconds, just a hair's breadth from breaking her world record. The crowd in Paris was on its feet, cheering as these two phenomenal athletes pushed each other to the limit. With such razor-thin margins, who will come out on top when they meet again at the Olympics? Women's 400 totals final, Sydney McLaughlin right in the middle, there she is. A perfect lane draw for Sydney because we know that she is- The rivalry between Sydney McLaughlin and Femke Bowl has become one of the most exciting narratives in women's athletics. It's like watching two titans clash, each pushing the other to new heights. Sydney and Femke first crossed paths on the international stage a few years back, and since then, their races have been nothing short of electrifying. Remember when Sydney set that blistering world record? Everyone thought she was untouchable, a true prodigy who had redefined the 400M hurdles. But then came Femke, the Dutch sensation, who seemed to come out of nowhere, steadily improving her times and closing the gap. The competition has been intense, with each race feeling like a chess match, where both athletes are not just racing against each other, but also against the clock and the weight of expectations. It's the kind of rivalry that makes you stay glued to the screen, waiting to see who will cross the finish line first and whether they'll set a new record. Sydney McLaughlin, often called Sid by her fans, is the reigning queen of the 400M hurdles. She's an Olympic champion and the current world record holder, known for her flawless technique and lightning-fast speed. What's amazing about Sydney is how she makes hurdling look so easy. I mean, have you ever seen her run? It's like she's gliding over the hurdles, barely breaking her stride. Her journey to the top has been nothing short of meteoric. She burst onto the scene as a teenager, and it felt like she was destined for greatness from day one. Sydney's races are a masterclass in pacing and precision. She has this incredible ability to time her bursts of speed perfectly, often saving her best for the final stretch when others start to tire. That's where she shines, leaving her competitors in the dust. So Sydney is the first woman to break 52 seconds in the 400 meter hurdle. On the other side of this thrilling rivalry is Femke Bol, the rising star from the Netherlands. Femke has been a revelation in the past couple of years, breaking records and challenging the status quo in women's hurdling. If you haven't seen her run, you're missing out. Femke has this raw speed that's just breathtaking. She recently became one of only two women to ever run the 400M hurdles under 51 seconds, a feat that puts her right up there with Sydney. What's incredible about Femke is her consistency and determination. She's been steadily improving, setting personal bests almost every time she races. It's like she's on a mission to prove that she belongs at the top. And let's not forget, she's only just getting started. Femke's ability to maintain her speed and form throughout the race is something to behold. She attacks the hurdles with such aggression and confidence, making it clear that she's not intimidated by anyone, not even by someone as accomplished as Sydney. Femke Bowl has been on fire lately, and it's been incredible to watch. Just recently, at the London Diamond League, she delivered a stunning performance, clocking 51.3 seconds in the 400M hurdles. Not only did she win the race, but she also broke her meeting record. It's like she's been on a mission to redefine what we think is possible in this event. The energy and confidence she brought to that race were palpable. You could see it in every stride. But Bowl didn't stop there. In the 2024 SCH Defon meeting in Switzerland, she truly outdid herself, running an astonishing 50.96 seconds. This performance made her one of only two athletes in history to dip under the 51 second mark in the 400M hurdles, joining Sydney McLaughlin in this exclusive club. That race was a real statement, showing everyone that she's not just a rising star, she's a legitimate contender for the top spot. It's amazing to see how consistent Bowl has been, steadily improving her times and pushing the boundaries of her potential. Her recent performances have made it clear that she's someone who can challenge Sydney McLaughlin and anyone else in the world. It's going to be thrilling to see how this rivalry develops, especially with Bull's current form. Sydney McLaughlin, on the other hand, has been the gold standard in the 400M hurdles for a while now. She's not just an Olympic champion, 
She's also the world record holder in the event. Her smooth, almost effortless hurdling technique, combined with her blistering speed, makes her a force to be reckoned with. Sydney's career is filled with standout moments, but her recent performances have been particularly impressive. At the US Nationals, she broke her world record, once again showing the world why she's the best. What's so remarkable about Sydney is her ability to rise to the occasion during major championships. She has this knack for peaking at the right time, delivering her best performances when it matters most. It's a quality that sets her apart and keeps her at the top of the sport. Watching her run is like seeing poetry in motion. She has an almost supernatural ability to time her jumps and maintain speed, even when the pressure is on. The excitement was electric as the Paris Diamond League approached, with everyone eagerly anticipating the face-off between Sydney McLaughlin and Femke Boll. Both athletes came into the event in peak form, setting the stage for what promised to be an unforgettable race. There was a palpable buzz among fans and commentators alike, with everyone speculating about the strategies each runner might employ. Sydney, known for her smooth technique and strong finish, was expected to run a controlled race, holding back just enough to unleash her signature burst in the final stretch. On the other hand, Femke, with her recent impressive performances, was likely to take a more aggressive approach, pushing the pace from the start to maintain an early lead. This race was more than just another stop on the Diamond League circuit. It was a crucial test ahead of the upcoming Olympic Games. It offered both athletes a chance to size each other up and gauge their readiness for the most prestigious stage in athletics. As the race began, Femke Bull shot out of the blocks with an explosive start, quickly establishing a commanding lead. It was clear she was sticking to her strategy of taking the race by the horns, using her natural speed to put distance between herself and the rest of the field. The crowd was on the edge of their seats, cheering as Bull hurtled effortlessly, her long strides eating up the track. Sydney McLaughlin, however, seemed unperturbed by Bowles' fast start. She maintained her composure, running her race, and keeping her rhythm steady. It was all part of her game plan, biding her time and conserving energy for a powerful finish. As they rounded the final bend, the race reached its climax. Bull still held a slight lead, but McLaughlin began to close the gap, her form impeccable and her pace increasing with each stride. The tension in the stadium was palpable, the roars of the crowd growing louder with every meter. It was a battle of wills, with Bowl pushing hard to maintain her lead, and McLaughlin pressing relentlessly to overtake. In those final moments, it felt like time slowed down, with everyone holding their breath to see who would cross the line first. The Paris Diamond League showdown between Sydney McLaughlin and Femke Bowl was as thrilling as anticipated. Femke Bowl clinched the victory with a time of 50.96 seconds, just shy of her personal best, but still an extraordinary performance that reaffirmed her status as one of the top athletes in the world. Sydney McLaughlin finished close behind, clocking in at 51.01 seconds, also an outstanding time that underscored her consistent excellence in the 400M hurdles. While no world records were broken, both athletes delivered some of the fastest times ever recorded in this event. It's worth noting that Bowl's time is now the second fastest ever, just behind McLaughlin's world record, and McLaughlin's time in this race ranks among the top performances in history as well. This race not only added another chapter to the storied rivalry between McLaughlin and Bowl, but also provided a fascinating comparison to historical performances in the 400M hurdles. Both athletes have consistently pushed the boundaries of what's possible in this event, making their races must-watch events for athletics fans around the world. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.